Diarrhea, aka Mick Carter. And uh, believe it or not, behind all this here is the iconic Queen Victoria pub. And I'm going to give you a little exclusive backstage, behind the scenes pipe. First of all, there's been four deaths in the Vic. Only four, I know, it's amazing. Archie Mitchell was found right there and uh, he was smashed over the nut by this thing, which don't weigh nothing, really. And then when we go round here, now this step um, was put in for Barbara Windsor, a beautiful Dame Barbara, because she was only, she's only four foot 11 maybe, she's a diddy little thing. Now they put real beer in the pumps because you can't put, what we usually use is non-alcoholic beer, but you can't put that in the pumps, it doesn't come out properly. And of course, sometimes we need to finish a beer off, try and get an head on it, like that. And then you can, uh, whoever's at the bar, say Billy Mitchell, go, there you go, son, cop for that, get that down, you scrag. So through here, this is the most iconic place for me. So when I first got this job and I came back here, it was a bit of a moment. Crisp boxes in the same place. We have to use a certain type of crisp. We can't use, obviously, any branding, BBC. So we go with the old Glovers, potato crisps. You know, they don't like people to open them too much because we have to get the packaging made ourselves. And it costs a bit of dough, actually. That's the truth. You would think when you go upstairs, you're going upstairs to, you know, uh, the bedrooms, the kitchen and everything, but there's nothing up here. Nothing at all. Some days I like to come up here and sit on my own, you know, have a little plot up here, but you can actually see the whole of the studio from up here. It's quite a nice little sight of all the lights. Now, so this is the Vic kitchen and this is where I burnt my winkle. But all this stuff here, generally, if we want it to work, will work. The fryers will work. So around here, it's a mad little area, this is, because no one ever sees it. It's never on screen, but this is like Mick's little office area. I, I wish I had a few more scenes, you know, plotted here, running the gaff. So there's only been two shootings in the Vic. Stuart and Michelle Fowler, which again, ain't too bad, really, if you think about it, over a 35-year stretch. So, there's been four births in the Vic. Kim's baby was one of them, in the Kazi. Uh, Tina and Shirley delivered a baby recently. So that's the Vic there, the downstairs Vic. This is upstairs. How mental is that? So if we've got a scene upstairs, we just have a little walk around here. And then, bump, you're in. As you can see, this is the stairs, right? It's a bit weird, right? So, obviously, as you saw, walk up them stairs, nothing. And we have to pick it up. We walk up the stairs and we've got to, you know, without laughing, just do the last, the last couple, right? which will be just a, just coming around. See what I mean? There's an art to it. So this is the Vic kitchen. We've had a few uh, branding kids come flying off the roof. You know, should put a rail up or something really. You know, they dot photographs around. They ask us what sort of color scheme you'd think you, you'd have. Obviously Mick Carter being uh, a West Ham fan. You know, he's, uh, you know, I've added my, uh, although Alfie was a West Ham fan as well, they ask us um, to bring in photos of when, you know, when we were young, back in the day. But that's my little Danny there, when she was maybe three. But of course, uh, I brought it in because it could possibly be Nancy, played by Maddie Hill. I was very young when I had a child. Kelly Bright there, um, back in her naughty days. Of course, the beautiful Tim West who played my, well, I thought he was my dad, turned out to be my granddad, of course. So, Mick and Linda's bedroom, this is where the magic doesn't happen, to be honest with you. Now it does now and again, uh, pair of drawers here, I don't know what's, I don't know, I don't know who they are. Must be Linda's, uh, I just dumped them over there. I was quite surprised when I first came in here because I thought that this wallpaper, this feature wall, was uh, was prongs. I thought, why have they put prongs up? And then you look a little bit closer, and actually, uh, it's flamingos, of course. I think we quite like it in here, me and Kelly, because I think we've probably done, arguably, some of our best work in it. It's always an, uh, an emotional, you know, sort of heart-to-heart -heart type vibe. So, there's been fires, there's been births, there's been tears, there's been murders. If you fancy a little booze, come down and see me in the Queen Victoria. It's a lovely little boozer. 